The Northern Lights season has begun, and if you're looking for the best local tips to maximize your chances of seeing the Northern Lights, well, you're in the right place. My name is Dan, and I'm the owner of Wake Up Reykjavik, and I'm here to take you to school. Northern Lights School. By the end of this video, you'll be an expert on the Northern Lights, fully equipped with the knowledge on how, where, and when to see them. There's a signal now, silent. Here's an overview of everything will be good. Are they sitting Here's everything we'll be going over in this video. And if you're ready, we'll get started. Fun fact, this video is being recorded late September and the Northern Lights so far this season have been amazing. We've even had nights where we've been able to see the Northern Lights from Reykjavik, which is super rare. Experts are saying that the next four years or four Northern Light season are predicted to be unbelievable. So if you're visiting Iceland, you're in for a treat. For the Northern Lights to be seen, you need three things. Number one is darkness, because you can't see the Northern Lights during daylight, so you need to see them during nighttime or during the evening when it is dark out. Number two is clear skies. Since the Northern Lights are above the skies, you can't have any cloud coverage blocking your visibility of the lights. Number three is Northern Lights activity, because in order to see the lights, they'll need to be active. Now, what is Northern Lights activity exactly? We'll go a bit more over that later on in the video. Now, we often get asked, when is the best time of year to see the Northern Lights? And we also get asked, is there a best month with the highest chances of seeing the lights? Well, like we talked about before, in order to see them, you'll need complete darkness. And if you've ever been to Iceland over the summertime, especially around the peak summer season, that will have 24 hours of daylight, meaning that you can't see any Northern Lights during summertime. Now, as we reach our final months of the summer, August, it'll start to be dark enough again where we can start to see the Northern Lights. So if you're coming to Iceland, you'll need to be here from mid-August to mid-April. So mid-August to mid-April is our Northern Lights season. Now, in this season, we also have our storm season where chances of snowstorms, rainstorms, heavy winds are a little bit more likely. And that would be in January and in February. Now the Northern Lights hate storms because like we mentioned before, in order to see them, you need clear skies. So we'll sometimes have amazing Northern Lights taking place, but you can't see them because they're being blocked by a snowstorm. Now the Northern Lights can still be seen in January and in February. So if you're planning a trip during that time of year, I wouldn't really worry. But the only thing I would recommend is having a few days here in Iceland to give yourself more chances of seeing the Northern Lights instead of planning a short trip during these months. So January and February storm season, where the chances of storms are a little bit higher. Then we have other months where the chances of storms are very low, September, October, early November, or even at the very end of the Northern Lights season, March or early April, where the chances of seeing the Northern Lights are spectacular because the chances of some cloud coverage or storms is very low. Now we know when you can see the Northern Lights in Iceland. But how can you predict which day of the week the Northern Lights will show up and which day of the week they won't? Now that's when the Northern Lights forecast comes in. Now what is the Northern Lights forecast, you might be wondering? Well, it's a website. You can find it by doing a quick Google search. It'll look like this. And basically what it's going to tell you is which day of the week and which time of the day will have clear skies and when will have cloudy skies. Now looking at this forecast, you want to be looking at the area where you'll be staying in. So if you'll be staying in Reykjavik city, you want to look at this part right here. Now many look at this map and they think that the green is Northern Lights, but in reality, green means clouds. And like we talked about before, Northern Lights hate clouds. What you want instead is whiteness. Whiteness is clear skies. On the Northern Lights forecast in the top right corner, you'll also see something called the KP meter, which will tell you the KP number of each day. Now it's a scale that goes from one to nine, and this is basically the strength and the location of the magnetic fields, or in other words, the Northern Lights. Now what you want to be aiming for is a day of the week where the KP number is somewhere from two to five. If it's a one or even higher, that usually means that the location of the Northern Lights or of the magnetic fields 
aren't in the area where Reykjavik is. Meaning that it could be amazing Northern Lights, but they'll be too up north or too down south to see them. Now we know when you can see the Northern Lights in Iceland. We know how the Northern Lights forecast works. Next, we'll discuss how we can see the Northern Lights. Basically, there are three ways to see them. Number one, you can simply stay in Reykjavik and hope that they'll appear. It can happen, and like I mentioned before, we've had a few days this season where the Northern Lights have come out. Usually, the chances of this are quite low, because even though we might have amazing Northern Lights, the light pollution from the city will usually block the visibility of the lights. So even though it is possible to see them from Reykjavik, it is rather unlikely. So if seeing the Northern Lights are high on your priority list, then I wouldn't take your chances of seeing them from Reykjavik. Number two is renting a car and going on a self-drive Northern Lights hunt. And this can be very fun. You'll need to monitor the Northern Lights forecast that we discussed before, but you'll also need to visit a website called veður.es. I'll write it here. In English, that translates to weather.is. It'll basically tell you the weather forecast for this evening for the next couple of days. Now, again, to see the northern lights, you'll need darkness, so you'll need to go in the evening. You'll need good northern lights activity, which is KP meter 2 to 5. You'll need clear skies as well, so whiteness instead of greenness on the northern lights map. And the last thing, you can't have any rain. The northern lights hate rain. So if you check all those boxes, then you're good to go for a Northern Lights hunt on your own. You can simply depart from the Reykjavik city, away from the city lights, to get a glimpse of the Northern Lights. Now, as we know by now, the Northern Lights take place and are visible during our winter season. During our winter season is also when we can have a bit of storms, and the weather here in Iceland can be a bit unpredictable, and it can change very fast. Now this is something that you have to keep in mind if you're considering driving yourself since the weather here can change quickly. Now you will be driving in darkness and oftentimes on icy roads. And if you're an inexperienced driver, this can be a little scary. And that's why I always recommend option number three, which is joining a small group Northern Lights tour, which is led by a Northern Lights expert, which knows the best possible spot each evening with the highest chance of seeing the Northern Lights, but also has years of experience driving in all types of conditions so you can feel safe. Now we've partnered with the best Northern Lights tour operator in all of Iceland. They have the highest rated Northern Lights tour, but also the best track record of seeing the Northern Lights. The guides are amazing and the tour takes place in a small mini bus to ensure a personal and fun small group experience. Now, the tour includes Icelandic homemade hot chocolate, along with pastries, along with wool blankets to keep you warm while seeing the Northern Lights. Now also included in the tour are photos from your Northern Lights experience. So if they do show up, the guide will take some awesome photos and send them to you after the tour. Now the beauty about this experience is that if you join the tour and you don't see any Northern Lights, you'll have unlimited retries until you do. Now, like I mentioned before, we've partnered with the very best Northern Lights tour operator in all of Iceland. And on our website, their experience is bookable at their best possible price. But since you're watching this video, you can use the promo code DAN, D-A-N, which will give you a discount of the experience, meaning that you can book the best Northern Lights experience at the best possible price. I hope that helps. Now, I hope you can use some of the tips in this video to have an amazing Northern Lights experience here in Iceland. If it's been helpful, consider giving the video a like or even subscribing to our channel for more local tips. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys soon. One take.